The story we're reading today is One Careless Night by Christina Booth. Where the mist swallows mountains and wild winds whisper through ancient trees, myths and legends are born. There are forests here where no one has trod and creatures run free in endless rain and deep dark bush. Here lives a mother with her pup. When night devours the sun, they hunt. As wallabies graze in the dying light, they stalk, silently choosing their prey. She shows her how to survive. They hear the crack of a whip, echo from the mountain face. It is swallowed by the river. The blast of gunpowder breaks through the ancient land. They run from this creature that searches for them. They hide deep in the bush, in the belly of an ancient pine. The rain settles softly. The smell of earth and pine comforts them. It hides the scent of wet leather and old meat. The trap has been laid. Caught, carted away, sold for a bounty. Locked away in a forest of concrete and steel, her mother grows tired and fades like mist in the sun. Only she remains. Alone. She paces, waiting for the food they bring her. No longer can she remember the hunt or the soft wind that carries the scent of ferns and pine. She forgets she is a tiger. Her stripes echo the bars of her cage. She plays with her keeper, dances on concrete, and sings to the sun. Back and forth she paces until she is old. Her calls grow silent, for no tiger can answer. In the cold of one careless night, she is gone. Now furs that were trophies hang in shame. Memories flicker to life in the dark, and glass-eyed tigers stand faded forever on display. Some say they have seen them. Some continue to search. Today, the mist still swallows mountains and winds whisper through ancient trees as creatures run wild and free. Listen. In the dying sun and shroud of night, she still sings to her kin. Like a ghost in the night, there is a flash of stripe on a sandy fur and then it is gone. Can you hear? Did you see? Or was it a trick of the moonlight? Author's note. The last known thylacine was called Benjamin. There were conflicting accounts as to whether Benjamin was male or female. In One Careless Night, the author has chosen to make the last thylacine a female. Benjamin died one freezing night at the Hobart Zoo because her keeper left her out of the shelter. Many other animals also died that night from lack of care and Benjamin's body, along with the others, was reported to have been disposed of at the city rubbish tip. <coughs> Benjamin, the last thylacine in captivity, died on the 7th of September 1936. This is now the date of the National Threatened Species Day in Australia. This is actually an excerpt of a proper legal document back from the 1930s and earlier that it was the reward for the destruction of native tigers. Farmers were worried that they were killing their animals, so they offered a bounty, which is a reward, for the skins of the thylacine. So people hunted this animal until they were extinct.